So you guys on Patreon have asked us to talk a little bit more about cameras because you guys want to learn about cameras. So, you know, this is like the cream of the crop and this is uh, the baby's LF. This is Alexa Mini LF. So before we used to use Alexa Mini on a lot of our projects. And that was like a standard for us to order and rent that. So just know that whenever you want to up your game in terms of quality, you don't have to buy it, but you can rent it from people. And you can also negotiate in that process. You can find stuff on ShareGrid if you don't use ShareGrid at all. Or you can go to Red Letter, which is where we got this tripod here. Um, they have all sorts of stuff. Red Letter is somebody that we use often in LA. Um, if, you, if you're like a, in a city that doesn't have uh, a rental house, when I was growing up, I was doing lens rentals. So go lens rentals, check it out. They'll have cameras like this and other cameras like our Black Magic on there so you could test them out. They're fair deals, but uh, let's give you a little bit more insight on what we have set up so you can kind of maybe rent your own things. So you got the LF body, and the body doesn't come with anything but the body. So you'll have to get your own separate lenses when you do that. This is a Signature Prime. This is a 35 millimeter. These are probably the top, the, I would say like the best version of what you can get out of this camera with these lenses. They're extremely beautiful. They're soft and sharp at the same time, and they have a great look to them but they're gonna come with a cost. So for a whole set for the day, you're spending maybe close to 15 to $2,000 for an entire five set. On the tripod, we got, if you're ever looking for a heavier duty tripod, you got the Connor 1040. This is called the ultimate 1040 head here. So it's just like helping balance heavier cameras. You're, you're probably, I think max load is maybe 40 or 50 pounds here. Um, and then they just come with standard like two stage legs here. I can't remember what version these are for the Connors, but the usually when you rent leg, uh, a head like this, they'll come with the proper legs. Um, if you don't have the funds and you need to go a little bit cheaper, or you want something more lightweight, these are pretty, this is a little heavier duty, these Connors, but this is a Sackler Active 8. This is kind of set up for cameras that are in the 30 pound range roughly. So this is right at the edge, about 20, 21, 22 pounds. So. It balances well with this one, it's lightweight. You know, they these legs open up from here and they can go all the way to the floor, so uh, pretty cool. One thing that's really cool about these is that you can unlock them and uh, they just kind of go up pretty quickly and they lock. Whoop, this one didn't come up, there we go. So those are just like how fast you can release them, which is really cool about these flow techs. These, these Flotex are really cool because they could come out that far. These are Flotex 75s, is what these legs are. I would support the head, let it all go down quickly. Just kind of drop things. Obviously, reset, lock. It wasn't extremely sexy, but it's quick, efficient. These, kind of the same thing, but it's a little bit harder. Um, the last thing I'll talk about here, I own a Bright Tangerine, which is only a two stage, this version, but both of these are clip-ons. So I only have two stages. I can only put two filters in. And uh, so maybe you run into that issue if like for some reason you run into fusion. You're, I'm running to fusion and I'm running like a, like a soft effects, which like reduces resolution to kind of soften the image out. So I have two filters in. It's only annoying whenever, okay, now I need a polarizer and all those things so three stage is kind of ideal to own in terms of tripod but uh mount box but you know this works uh this works for me and is affordable so i think this map box is it's affordable for me but it's still pricey i think it's like 15 to 2000 for this map, map box but this thing takes a beating and keeps on ticking so it's worth it's worth every penny uh in terms of wireless we got a Bolt 4K LT750, and this is like the most affordable Teradek right now that you can get. We have them on both of these cameras. Um, and these are really great standard, industry standard, uh, you know, Teradek system for wireless video. Um, worth every penny, I use it every single time. So if you ever wanna like, if you ever wanna, appreciate it. Uh, oh, oh, come back. We're gonna check out some of these. If you ever, if you ever wanna like, Having the wireless video thing is important for, it helps a lot, especially when you're by yourself, because you can set this up, 
take your monitor with you, walk around and see things. So definitely worth the investment in buying some kind of like wireless system. It doesn't have to be Teradek, but this is what I own. So um, I'm gonna put up another poll to see what else you guys are looking for. Uh, I'm gonna do a little deep dive on like the comparison between using this camera and this camera. You see that we're using two different cameras, two different lenses on this. I did some testing with them and I noticed like how close they look in terms of color, but the difference is like maybe the look and feel of them. So I'll put up some more images of um, like what these interviews are looking like when we're shooting with two cameras. We also did some two camera setups with some of our uh, narrative work that we did for this. So I'll put some still references so you could see that too and see if you could tell the difference. I think straight, straight out of the gun, the differences that I notice are this is sharper. This has this like sharper cinema camera look to it. And this one looks like a little bit more like film or it has this like really soft look to the image and has a great salad at the field. The LF itself is pretty unique in the fact that it's a full frame camera and it's so high quality. So it's kind of hard to really match with the Super 35 camera. But when I was looking at it, on Premiere back to like side by side if I have a colorless color for me and they do a great job I'm not gonna be able to tell the difference from a color perspective you might tell a slight difference in terms of look but the, the images are so close that this is like while we're testing it I'm like saying hey can we the reason I'm doing it is like hey can I get two or three of these cameras and this be my A camera and I have a bunch of like B and C cameras when we do this full documentary and it'll be more affordable. It'll be, you know, the main thing is affordability. Like I don't, I can't afford to have like three or four Alexas at once because it's just too expensive and the glass is too expensive. So I'm seeing like, can I do the whole documentary with these two cameras? Until next time guys, appreciate you guys tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Make sure you guys send you, um, you know, tell your friends that what we got going on on our Patreon like our stuff, share it. If you see this, tag us, screenshot it. Man, we, should, we appreciate our guys' love and support with our Patreon. So until next time, peace. Cosmic shots behind the camera.